Uh, firstly, um, pardon the cough drops. I'm still trying to get over this cold. So the other day, um, yesterday actually, as, I, as I'm filming this, um, one of the channels I subscribe to, Cliff Gray, um, he posted a video or a short on a bunch of binocu binocular harness reviews he's going to do. I assume way later in the year. And I, it was, it, I made a comment. It was a smart, it was a smart ass comment, but it was made kind of tongue in cheek. It was like, oh no, <laughs> you know, more reason for me to be pining over gear. And then someone made this uh, a comment. You know, as long as you have a marsupial with a non-magnetic closure, you're okay. And that got me thinking that, well, some people are aware of the problem with magnetic closures. Not everybody um, might not be aware as to how to work around them. So I thought I'd make a quick video on that subject. Now, uh, let me talk about the problem with magnetic closure vinyl harnesses to begin with just for people who don't know is that it will screw with your compass and I'll try to zoom in and illustrate that in just a minute but it will also screw with your GPS particularly if you're using a smartphone as your GPS um, usually you'll keep it if you are this isn't my this is just a case but Usually you'll keep it in a pouch like right here or maybe behind. But wherever you keep it, odds are it will be close to where your bino harness magnetic closure is. Now, my understanding with GPS apps on a smartphone is that how they fix your location like if you're using Onyx, and let's face it, everybody does, by two means. One is actual GPS satellite fixes. And for that, all they need is like a hexadecimal or latitude or longitude um, coordinate. And that is independent of the compass that's built into the phone. Now, when you press on the phone or the you're in the app and you press on the little arrow button and it kind of gives a direction as to which way you're facing, that is what gets screwed with this. And once it's all whack, all out of calibration, you could be facing north, but your GPS application, like Onyx, will say you're facing south. And that presents a problem if you're not aware of that. All right, I'm going to try freehanding this because um, it's, e it's just the easiest way I can uh, get the camera angle on it. But, okay, here's a little aesthetic compass I used to use. And you might be able to tell we're facing south. North is behind me. Now, here's my bino harness. Now watch what happens when I move it closer. See that? Now, the way this compass is used, you have to actually bring it up to your eye. Um, because what you typically do is you bring this thing down here. I'm trying to do this one handed. Put your thumb under there. And then you sight in through this little. The little sight right there and then you look down here to get your bearing and you kind of hold this up to your face well guess where this thing is comes up to right next to this bino harness and your reading is all jacked up so if you're using a magnetic bino enclosure a compass like this is right out now that brings me to um a mirror compass now for a mirror compass to work properly you actually have to hold this thing at arm's length, hold it level, use the mirror to, to look at your compass, and as the saying goes, put the red in the shed. You spin the dial to where it where you know 
you sight through at the bottom, you spin the dial to put the red in the shed, and then you come back here and you take a reading. Which would be right there, almost south. Now, this compass is less affected, but it is still affected. As I move it closer to my vinyl harness, it's all jacked up. Now, if you watch my uh, other video that I posted a little while ago about what I usually carry in the mountains, um, this is the primary reason why I use this compass. I keep it on a lanyard on my pack, and when I go to read, to properly read it, you have to do this anyway. So it's automatically being held away from my vinyl pack. Now, the compass in your smartphone is going to be affected in a similar manner as what I illustrated um, with this lensetic compass. Now, your GPS app, most likely you're going to be using Onyx, it will still have your position correct, but whichever direction you're facing, there's a very good chance that that will be incorrect. It, the compass on um, my smartphone, it is random whether or not it works. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. I've just learned not to use it at all. Instead, don't mess with the directional um, indicator on the on the, on the on the on it at all. Just don't mess with it. The mount, as it sits on your phone, will be pointed north. So this just goes back to basic navigation. What I will do is. I'll just orientate my compass to north and there's north right there. Now I'll take my smartphone out. Usually it's right here. North is right there. And I'll orientate this north as it sits and then that will give me my then I'll know my position and direction through that let's say if that way is north if this direction was north then I would just take my phone and orient it to where the top of the map is pointed towards north and if I want to head east then I just navigate off of this way it's like reading a paper map Honestly, that's how I deal with it. Um, if there's another way to work around this, um, I'm unaware of it. But this is just how I've gotten used to navigating in the mountains now. I'm not changing up my no packs. It is what it is, and um, this is pretty useful anyway. So I hope this helps, and uh, you have a good one.